Welcome to Sailor.org's Computer Skills and Literacy course. In this unit, we will examine the fundamentals of basic computing. Computers are essential to performing many everyday tasks, from communicating with friends and family on the internet, to performing research and completing homework assignments, to accomplishing other routine tasks like checking your bank account or ordering a gift for a friend. This Computer Skills and Literacy course will provide you with information and tools to assist you in developing the skills you need to perform some of these tasks and more. You will gain a better understanding of how the computer operates, become familiar with components of the computer and common computer terms, and we'll pick up some basic troubleshooting tips along the way. Learning about computers can be intimidating for some. However, this course will provide you with readings and videos to make you feel at ease at the keyboard of a computer. Having provided you with an overview of this course, let's discuss how computers can enhance your career and personal life. Let's begin with its use in finding and succeeding in the workplace. If you are looking for a new job, you are sure to find most of job advertisements online. The web is a great place to find out about recent job openings and employment opportunities. Further, many of today's employers require that you use a computer in your daily tasks. Being able to navigate computer software and search for information on the internet can make you more marketable in today's job market. It's important to understand that we are living in a digital age now, where information is constantly being accessed, shared, and transferred on the internet. Whether you're seeking information about a school or conducting research on a product you want to buy, having access to a computer can provide you with more details and reviews than you could ever imagine and can help make you a better informed purchaser, learner, and overall citizen in today's world. Finally, knowing how to use a computer can help you better communicate with friends, family, and coworkers, whether you are using email or a social media platform like Facebook. In summary, knowing how to use a computer and can act and access the internet can help you in a number of ways, whether personal or professional. This course will set you up for success in this regard. In Unit 1, you'll learn about the various parts of the computer. In this introduction, you will receive a detailed overview of the computer and its many uses. This unit will also cover computer software. Computer software tells the computer what to do and which actions to perform. Using computer software can help make specific tasks like writing letters, creating spreadsheets, and accessing the internet much easier. Meanwhile, computer hardware refers to the physical components that make up a computer system. The hardware is sort of like the building blocks of the computer, the actual pieces that come together to create the physical computer in front of you. Learning how to use computers effectively and familiarizing yourself with their hardware and software components can be a little overwhelming, especially in terms of learning this new computer lingo. For example, do you know what a microcomputer is? Well, you will learn this and more when you are introduced to a list of common computer concepts and terms. This list will help you become more conversant in the computer lingo that has become so common today. As is the case with all units in this course, each resource in Unit 1 contains links to allow you to pursue more in-depth information on any items of interest. Please feel free to follow any embedded links in these readings to obtain more detailed information on a given subject. We recommend that you take notes throughout your reading and keep a file on particular items of interest to you. The goal of this unit is to help you feel less intimidated when it comes to using the computer and to present you with all of the resources you need to understand basic computer concepts. Remember, the purpose of this course is to provide you with the tools that will allow you to use the computer and that will make you proficient in performing routine computer tasks. Take great notes, practice, and have fun. I look forward to seeing you at the beginning of Unit 2.